Yo, what's up YouTube? Welcome to Tay TV and my reaction video for today. I will be reacting to Miguel versus Robbie who was right. So we're going to see this video and we're going to see who was right. Please like, share, comment, and subscribe. Whatever videos you guys would like me to react to, leave it in the comment section and I will react to it. Please subscribe and let me know who you guys think was right in this when Miguel and Robbie have fought. So let me know what you guys think. Let's get straight into this video. Robbie Keane, who is right? Well, let's find out today. You see, their conflict begins in episode five where we see Robbie finally give his father a chance after hating him for his whole life, basically. Just to see him with another student. Okay, this is, this is how it, like it all started. And this initially sounds like a reach, right? Like maybe Robbie's just thinking this to himself. But we find out that Miguel himself actually doesn't even have a father figure. And Johnny is constantly put in this father Yes, yeah, so as you guys position. know, Miguel doesn't know who his father is. At the end of Cobra Kai Season 4, Miguel, went, Miguel is going to Mexico to find out who his father is. So that's what Season that's what Cobra Kai Season 5 is mainly going to be about. So we're going to see how good Cobra Kai Season 5 is. ...or role for Miguel. And if you're not convinced by this, I mean, let me just say this. The guy gets with his mom, bruh. I mean, do I need to say more? Anyways, after Robbie sees Miguel at Cobra Kai, he decides to join Miyagi-Do. And like yeah. Miguel and Johnny, Robbie proceeds to develop joined, a father-son yeah. relationship with Daniel, a.k.a. He joined... He joined... Daniel at first, so him and Daniel, they was like really, like really good. And then at the end of Cobra Kai season two, after that high school fight, once he kicked, once he kicked Miguel off, once once he kicked Miguel and, and once Miguel fell and broke his back, that's when things changed for him. His father's rival. And Miguel goes on to see that after trying to visit the LaRusso household, plus seeing Robbie with his girl, and mind you, the whole time Miguel has been trying to convince Sam for her to let him meet her family, just for her to avoid the subject matter as a whole because he's simply Cobra Kai. She even goes as far as to say he should change dojos, so Miguel seeing this is super mad at Sam, plus he isn't given context about her getting grounded, so it looks like she's just dodging him even more, and then he proceeds to drink alcohol and see these two together. Obviously, Miguel is going to act up, this is the first time the boy's even under alcohol influence, probably? And all of these emotions are just running through this man's brain. And he accidentally hit Sam trying to hit Robbie. And not gonna lie, with context, after thinking he's trying to get with his girl, which he did, I think he had Miguel, a lot of he's a good fighter. And let's not act like Robbie wasn't trying to get with Sam before he even knew that she had a boyfriend. And so this brings us to the All Valley, where Miguel is taught no mercy, plus is fueled by the fact that Sam is saying Cobra Kai isn't the way and was rooting for Miyagi-Do and Robbie. <laughs> Robbie did have an injured arm, and Miguel taking it. Miguel of won that is the first fight. And ratty, but I'm not gonna lie, I would have done the exact same thing. Honestly, probably worse. Probably on some Mike Barnes type shit. Sorry, man, no mercy. No now, mercy. In season one, <laughs> I think Miguel was unironically right initially, but took it a step way too far. Plus, Robbie himself didn't know Miguel was her boyfriend. I think this is more so of a 50-50 conflict. However, it's mainly because Miguel not only called out Robbie and had a right to be mad at Sam, but he just completely fumbled at the party. I will say, though, it was cool for the writers to make this conflict resemble that of Johnny and Daniel, since the Cobra Kai is confronting the Miyagi-Do about being with his girl, but there's so much more context and build-up to it now. Like, Karate Kid 1, right, was super iconic, but it was just the one-off movie. Like, besides talking about Karate Kid, there was nothing more to the narrative. But now we literally have decades worth of build-up, and honestly, because of this, I will say in terms of their conflict with just speaking about Karate Kid 1 only, Robbie and Miguel's conflict clears Daniel and Johnny's by a mile by season one. Now moving to season one. two, the rivalry sort of is put to the side due to Sam and Tori, and instead their girls are more so getting into it, and we see as Robbie is letting his anger get worse and worse, yeah. making him more unhinged. Robbie should have never kicked them the exact off the steps arc, like and that. instead is more so trying to be the best of Johnny's image, becoming a lot less aggressive, and this time learning to show mercy. Unfortunately, Robbie does not learn the same lesson after hearing about Sam and Miguel kissing behind And yeah, that's the thing. When Miguel was, was fighting Robbie and the same Miguel thought about it for a while and he went back to how Johnny, how Johnny 
had told him to show mercy because he he wasn't taught that and when he remembered that he he apologized and said that I'm sorry and he still he still kicked him off like when I watched Cobra Kai he's telling like wow like Cobra Kai, it's like Cobra Kai to me, in my opinion, Cobra Kai season two and season three are the best seasons so far. Back, which puts Robbie in the exact same position as Miguel in season one. He had the right to do what he did, but he took it a step way too far. Now, despite season two kind of being Robbie's worst season, especially for the actor, his arc is really underrated and underappreciated and took me a couple rewatches to really acknowledge that. Like, yeah, the Sam and Robbie stuff is really gross, but besides that, the whole arc with Robbie and him spiraling down the Cobra Kai is perfectly set up. And by the end of this season, we see Johnny completely torn apart because he's connected to both of them, and that's what we focus on. Yeah, in he three. is. In season three, Johnny goes on to choose between Miguel and Robbie, and chooses Miguel, which causes him to lose Robbie in the end. Then Robbie tries connecting with Sam, and she then chooses Miguel over him, distancing Robbie. And from see, the I thought they was going to fight right here when I first watched this episode when it came out, but Sam, but Sam stopped Robbie, so that wouldn't happen. More. I get that Miguel was crippled, but not gonna lie, if I saw this dude with my girl too, I would have tried throwing the hands, specifically aiming for the leg. Now, the thing is, it's not Miguel's fault necessarily because at the end of the day, it's also Johnny and Sam's decision. But from Robbie's perspective, he's basically Johnny and we see Miguel as Daniel now. What I particularly like about this conflict is that it differs from the other ones in Cobra Kai due to the roles actually reversing for both sides. It's Miyagi-Do versus Cobra Kai. Miguel, Miguel and Robbie, they're going to have to fight again first. too, but Miguel's going to win that this we time. Can't have from Johnny and Daniel's conflict specifically, which I honestly do really like considering the already many similarities that Daniel and Johnny's conflict has with Miguel and Robbie's. And yet, despite this, it's still a unique conflict that's super entertaining to see play out. Like, you cannot say that Miguel and Robbie's conflict is a bootleg Johnny and Daniel's. That's just mm -hmm. simply not the case. John and, and Daniel conflict that, from watch the, show. the first now, Karate Kid movie. Four, we have the reverse happening to Miguel, where he actually starts to see that despite Johnny fighting for him, at the end of the day, Robbie is still Johnny's actual son. And when it comes down to it, Johnny is still going to choose his own son over his student, and that's just the truth. It's the harsh reality, but the genuine truth, and this is in turn now putting Miguel through an arc of discovering fatherhood. Kind of like what he and Robbie were going through season 1, and it perfectly ties in with Robbie's arc in season 4, where he was discovering himself. And we will see this further come into play in season 5, where we have both Robbie and Miguel more than likely sitting down and having one final interaction before finally putting things to an end after Miguel's fatherhood arc is concluded. Honestly, we'll I see. can't really say anything for my predictions. Well, see, as a matter of fact, that's right. In Cobra Kai Season 5, Miguel and Wright, they should have had one last fight. Miguel's arc with his father. I genuinely couldn't tell you guys what is going to be happening, but I will say this. Miguel and Robbie's conflict, it will 100% be resolved by next season, and I guarantee you we will see these two be the new duo. With that being said, ladies and gentlemen, thank you guys for watching another Cobra Kai analysis of mine. I appreciate y'all. Be sure to subscribe. Hit the bell icon. It is 2 a.m. I'm going to sleep. Have a nice night, everybody. This is it for this reaction video. Please like, share, comment, and subscribe. Whatever videos you guys would like me to react to, leave it in the comment section. I will react to it. Please subscribe and follow me on my social medias below in the comment section below. Thank you.